Taurus Horoscope. Your love of the good life motivates you to accomplish some great things this year. Venus, goddess of love and money, is your ruler and as she starts the year out in experimental Aquarius, Venus in Pisces January 1st, your mind opens to new ideas in both areas. You're more comfortable, though, when she enters your sign in early March and till early April and then again in Libra, the other signs she rules, for about three weeks at the end of October. Pleasure and passion combine now to help you enjoy the finer things in life. The one retrograde period your ruler experiences is from mid-May to end of June, during her trip through Curious Gemini, causing you to ponder the dualities of love and money. While you can't imagine living life without a lot of either, it's interesting to consider the alternatives. The sun spends time in your comfort conscious, earthy sign between mid-April and end of May, so happy birthday beautiful, loyal Taurus. You're ready to work hard and exchange for the pleasures that life has to offer, especially beauty and abundance. You don't have to apologize for loving beautiful things, this essential part of your nature is what drives you to succeed. Your senses are awakened now, and you fall in love with gourmet food, fine wine, expensive perfume, luxurious linens and beautiful artwork. And don't forget that Uranus, the planet of change, is moving along in your steady sign all year, causing upheaval in a lot of areas. Although it's only retrograded until January 10, it cycles back again to a retrograde cycle in mid-August until the end of the year. So, what this means for you, dear Taurus, is rolling with the changes. Not your forte but being as open-minded and flexible as possible will get you through some rough patches during this progressive transit. Taurus Couples Horoscope Take advantage of this year's solid romantic opportunities. Venus quickly shifts her focus from freedom-loving Aquarius at the start of the year to dreamy Pisces in the middle of January. Venus starts the year in Pisces, so you'll experience a gentler, more intuitive energy almost immediately. While idealism is alive and well now, it's optimized by a conjunction with Pisces ruler, Neptune, at the end of the month. Look forward to enjoying a deeper, more spiritual bond with your partner as you spend time relaxing and daydreaming together. Loving Venus enters nurturing Cancer at the start of August, when your energy is most centered around home and family. You're a very protective partner now, and you'll go to great lengths to make sure they, and everyone in your family unit, feel happy and well taken care of. This warmth and devotion acts as a protective shell, and it's hard for anyone to break into this lovely little cocoon you've built around the people you care most about. The trine to gentle Neptune at the end of August adds a compassionate romantic atmosphere, making this an opportune time to choose a charitable project to work on together. Share the love and watch it multiply. A full moon in your sign on the last day of October can intensify feelings of jealousy, which can really take a toll on your relationship. If you've been having feelings of doubt lately, this full moon isn't the best time to bring them up. Wait until the energy is a little less volatile to voice any concerns regarding trust, suspicions, etc. Taurus Singles Horoscope Love is in the air this year, so grab hold of it when you get the chance. Love-focused Venus is in freedom-loving Aquarius as the year begins, Venus is in Pisces, so you re okay going solo for now. By the time she gets to your sign at the start of March, however you will be much more focused on how and where to find the most dependable partner possible. Your perfect match would be the whole package rolled into one beauty naturally catches your eye first, but you want to settle for anyone who don't SNT stimulate you in other ways as well. Venus enters a retrograde period from mid-May until the end of June, so you might see an X resurface now. Some very positive memories come flooding back but so does the heartache that came with the breakup. Do you really want to go through all that again? Retrograde cycles offer you the chance to take a break and rethink things, Taurus, but that no S&T mean literally going backwards. 
you might want to keep your eye toward the future instead of opening yourself up to pain you've already experienced. The new moon in the house of partnerships in mid-October provides excellent opportunities to get into a balanced, grown-up relationship if that's what you're really looking for. You're more adoptable now and willing to make things work with the right person. Fairness will be a priority but be careful not to wander into indecisiveness. Mulling over too many options or trying to accommodate someone's every wish isn't keep realistic or healthy. Taurus Money and Career Horoscope You're all about that money, but will your career goals and financial results meet your high expectations this year? On a positive note, hard-working Saturn starts the year again in the sign it rules, ambitious, dedicated Capricorn, which means the chance to achieve your goals is excellent. Its entry into individualistic Aquarius toward the end of March helps you consider unique and out-of-the-ordinary situations, so a job change into a totally different field might be on the horizon. Saturn turns retrograde in early May, causing you to reconsider a career-related opportunity, and then goes direct again in Capricorn in late September. All this movement in this ambitious planet reminds you not to give up. Keep working toward your goals, Taurus. You'll get there. Uranus traveling in your sign this year is a big indicator of financial shakeups, possibly on a major level. You've probably already been experiencing the energy of this transit that started back in May of 2018 and has been challenging you to branch out in financial situations ever since. As a fixed sign focused on financial stability, this could be one of the biggest challenges you'll face. But big risks earn big rewards, which help bolster your, probably already impressive, bottom line. Luckily, Taurus, the two retrograde periods, the first brief one at the start of the year and ending in mid-January, the second starting mid-August and lasting through the end of the year, will give you a break and a chance to collect your thoughts before battling those financially challenging demons again in 2021. 